Welcome everyone. Welcome to NGS Free Agent Combine. We are so showcasing some free agents looking for teams in NGS. Um, first map, we are going to Sky Temple and the draft has started. Um, so let's start there. Thank you, Hashbash, for a resubscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we have the draft going on Sky Temple. Um, on the left side, we have the blue team, free agents, first ban, first pick, they first ban, Brightwing. And on the right side, the red team, the Aentes Libres, free agents, and red team, ban, and the win. So we have two healers gone already two top two healers one is global and one is a puller he likes to pull with his light bomb so second band are we going to see another global that globals are very important in this very large map so maybe a false style of Bianca, but nope they're Getting Joanna, the queen of tanks herself, often banned, um, often played if available. So red team, they have their second ban. They're thinking about it. Do they want to follow up with another healer or? If... Nope, Stuke off. Yeah, okay, Stuke off. You don't want to be silenced, so you want to ban them since you don't have first pick. These are one of the probably more common top bands in um, division, I believe. These players are mostly gold and below, gold, silver, and bronze. Um, and with one substitute, I believe we have on this um, this team, team one or team red team or blue team has one substitute. The rest of the people are all free agents. So first pick. On the blue team, they went ahead and picked their healer, Rhaegar, since a lot of the healers are already gone. But the blue team countered it with two um, globals, with Falstad and the Haka. Very good pickups here, in my opinion, for this map, because it's very big. It's one of the bigger maps. And global for the lane pressure is important. The blue team countered with Sylvanas and Muradin. I like that. Sylvanas will help take down the structures. Structures is very important. That'll help the objective take out more structures. Because that's what the objectives likes to do, is take out structures here. All right, so we have bands now. Who are we going to ban? They don't, I was going to say, probably some DPS since Blue Team already has the healer and Muradin and the tank. Blue Team, on the hand, Probably will ban a healer or a tank. Let's see, what healers are left? Um, there's still Deckard, um, there's still Ariel, there's Anna and Tarande. Anna and Tarande is hard. Oh, instead they banned out a new Brack. So no cocoons. Okay, so bans are over. Red team, I'm going to guess they're going to go for. Um, Let's see, the Hawk is the D, um, offlaner. There's the healer and there's, oh, Vala. Vala made it all the way late draft. Okay, I like to see Vala here. Vala is really good, so they have their offlaners. I mean, their DPS. Oh, Chen! <laughs> you don't see the panda too often. <laughs> okay, I like it. Chen's going to be their offlaner. So, blue team needs another DPS gonna be who's gonna oh Tassadar okay so Tassadar could put a wall up and Chen can just barrel roll everyone into the wall 
<laughs> that would be funny. Uh, that's kind of a hard combo to land, but I kind of like that. I like the blue team's um, fight potential. I like red team's... Oh, Diablo for the red team. All right. I like red team's global value with the Falstad and the Haka. Falstad with the Gust has a really good disengage. So we'll see. Uh, I, I kind of like the red team's draft just because of the global. I kind of like that. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how they play the globalness. All right, here we go with the uh, NGS Free Agent Combine. Sky Temple. Uh, one of the reasons I picked Sky Temple is because it's a very heavily macro map. So um, I wanted to see how they handle the rotations and the map map calls, the shot calls in this big map. And I like how the red team picked um, two globals to handle that. So we'll see how, how they do this. We'll see who, I don't know who's shot calling for either teams. So that's going to be a pretty important shot calling um, in this game. Okay, on the blue team, three agents, um, we have we have Dead On on Meriden, um, Beta Male on Chen, Boomer APM on Sylvanas, Blind Bus on Rhaegar, Zerg Pern on Tassadar, and on the red team, we have uh, Entes Libra, we have Diablo, played by Striker Killer, No More Heroes on Vala, Bloody Drapes on Dahaka, Rift on Falstead, and the only novel on Tarande. And let's see, no Sylvanas Cheese. I guess there were. Falstead was up top looking for Sylvanas Cheese, but we don't have it. Alright, we're playing straight up on the bottom. We have Chen, and on top we have Dahaka and Falstead. We have 4v3 on the middle, a flip by Diablo, but that's okay. The Pasador wall, wall was a little late. All right, we have Third Wind, Precious Ingredient, Overwhelming Affliction, Stormcaller, Fire Fusion, Soul Shield, Auto Attack Build, Tissue Regeneration, Gathering Storm, and Rhaegar. Oh, you're right. That is the wrong logo. Thank you for... Catching that? Let me find that. There we go. Oh, we got first blood on Panda. Trying to kill the Panda Bear. All right, so caps are being taken. Experience is pretty even. Tassadar and Daka on top. I'm not sure who wins that one. Oh, you got the range of Tassadar. The Daka's pretty good wave clear also. Oh, they're invading, they're invading. Dark then there's the flip on line bus. Oh, Rhaegar's down. No healer. Can they go for more? There's the wall on the Diablo, but he's okay. He's okay. Nice invade by the red team. All right. Blue team still got the siege camp, so minor victories. They're pushing. The night elf killing an endangered animal. <laughs> That's a good one, Silver Bell. <laughs> yeah, those night elves, they don't care about nature when they're when their own lives are on the line. Oh, they're gonna go for it! There's a charge! Oh, Diablo charges Murden into the gate. Misses the flip. That was a good try though. Alright. Uh Blue team is really good at getting camps. They already got the hard camp up top. They're pushing hard. They got three on top. They're going to push with it. Uh, the Arca should be okay. He's by the gates. Nice stun! And there's a bite, but he's okay. They're getting some value up top with the um, camps. You want to get structure advantage because if the blue team can get this top structure, I mean, this top objective, they're going to get a lot of damage. Oh! 
Toronto with the kill on Meriden. With the help with some false dad love there. Blue team did get the uh, almost all, all the towers. They're getting some good value there. No one's going for the middle one. All right, so is get going to get the rest of it. They might even out the structure damage up top. Are they going to fight the middle? There's a nice. I'm um, stunned by Diablo, but they're okay. There was no follow up. Everyone was split. Chance in the back line. He's just trying to be a real annoying panda there. Daka, meanwhile, got all the gates and towers and some um, horde shots. Chance in the back line. He's going to be there all night long with only Diablo to peel. He's feeling pretty safe, but. <laughs> They're ignoring Chen, they're going for Murden and the rest. Oh, nice, tongue by the Haka! But there was no follow up, the rest of the team was on an objective. The red team. Oh, nice, well, stun! Oh, Tasso put up the wall. The Owl says, Thank you very much! Uses it to stun. <laughs> Tasso playing for the wrong team there. Alright, so blue team got most of the objective in the middle. Red team got a lot. Of on the top, but blue team was able to counter it. Got the top fort. Daka, oh, he's used a burrow. Does he have a stun? This bird oh, flying kick! Gets him on the other side. Where's the stun? Nice! Nice! Nice bullying on Daka there. Not much um, plus that can do. But the rest of the red team was getting camped, so they couldn't help him. Savannah's shut down the fort, but there's no other follow up. They decided uh, that's enough to even out the damage up top and concentrate on the rest of the lanes. No one's been soaking the bottom for a while. The uh, Tessar is here looking for an invader in the camp. Are they going to do it? They're checking. False dead. Oh no! False dead! Oh! False dead was. Uh, if Murden was down here. Oh, nice stun by Diablo with the flip and the stun by Toronto! Perfect stun, but. No one was there. Paul that went the long way, went the safe way, so there was no damage there. Oh, they're diving deep for Chen. Oh, actually, Chen was diving deep, but he's Chen. I don't think Paul is going to catch him. All right, caps are taken. Everyone was chasing Chen. Oh, the hackers. I guess he's okay. With the camp there, he was okay. So, red team is pushing the mid. There's the wall, task there. Diablo has no one to charge. Does he have a flip? Nope. Diablo, oh, he's going for Tassar. Nice. Oh, the stun misses him. Turn that. Oh, I think Tassar would have been dead if the stun landed. Turns in the back line. Chen wants to fort. He, he's drinking his brew. He's got a shield. He's going to die for the fort. He's gonna die for it. Nope. <laughs> the fort killed Chen before it. He was too busy drinking. The drunk panda almost got it. How much hit points left? Four and forty-four. Instead of drinking, he should have been kicking. Oh, Diablo wants Tassadar. Oh, but he's stuck. He is stuck. Oh, <laughs> he was stuck. Oh, Merton jumps in for Tronde. Does he have a stun method sidestep? Oh, the gas saves Tronde. Nice peel there. All right, let's look at um, Tense Avatar, Wandering Keg, Mind Control, Ancestral, Black Hole, Apocalypse, Rain of Vengeance, Isolation, Mighty Gust, and Shadow Step. The other one's right at the wall! Traps the other Oh! Nice wall by Tassadar. Tassadar goes, You're going after me all night? We'll take this wall. I think this is going to be the first fort. Chen is able to save the top four. Can they get it? I think they're going to get it. Meanwhile, red team's trying to counter it by getting the top four. Just Chen has his keg to escape. He should be okay. All right, so each team got one four. That was a nice call by the red team. 
They can't get the bottom. Let's go get the top. Nice call. Oh, blue team almost took out the red team. I mean, their top red fort. Oh, red team lost the mid fort, though. So two forts down by the red team. Chen wants this top fort. He's going to die for it again. Okay, well, fast that blue man, though. That's where Chen wanted, but taking too much damage at the bell roll. All right, blue team is doing really good getting their camps. They're pushing up top. Doc is going to have to clear that before he can go anywhere. They're going to take the boss. I don't think anyone's going to boss this early. Boss needs to clear the bottom. Doc needs to clear the top. Oh, here it comes. Red team's invading. There's the apocalypse. Oh, missiles everywhere. Black hole to clear. Megatron and Diablo. Boss that's here. They're zoning out. Diablo has to get out of there. He has to flip. Oh, Diablo went in too deep. He had no follow-up. Plus, I was over here clearing lanes. Oh, there's the wall on the keg. Toronto's down. Sylvanas takes the kill. And they're going for boss. Diablo is still too busy up top take, clearing out, so it was a 5v4. And then Diablo died, and they just chased down Toronto. Reboss. I don't think the red team is take, getting much value out of their macro globals. I haven't seen Daco dig anywhere and I haven't seen Fawcett really fly anywhere. Capitalize. Alright, we got the boss and two siege camps pushing. This is pretty big. Red team has to answer. Blue team meanwhile is going to get the one of the objectives and I'm not sure why Tronda's there. Okay. I guess they're going to try to counter with Tronda and Daka and a camp. But I think this keep might be dead. Oh, my control Diablo with the black hole. Oh, beautiful. With no healer, there was no way. And then um, we got Savannah shutting this down. Two siege camps and a boss. This keep is gone. I don't think, I mean, yeah, you want to get value elsewhere, but you don't want to lose this keep. All right, blue team can say one keep is good. They're going to get the objective. Uh, okay, so red team got the gate and uh, some damage on the keep, but I don't think that was worth it. The red team is a level behind. This red team is getting some shots off this one. The blue team is getting all of this. Will they get the keep? They might get the keep. Blue team's got to give because they have people on bottom. But can they get the panda? Does he have keg? He has keg. He should be okay. There he goes. He's just trying to be an annoying panda. And the red team did get the keep. All right, it's a uh, 5v5. Tassar's coming here. So it's four structures to one. Red team is, is really not using their macro globals. I mean, you have Doc and... Oh, there's the flip, but you're all by yourself. Oh, the sun misses because of the flip. The wall misses. Okay. Oh, here comes Foster flying in. Here we go. Just a black hole to the end of Gust. Are they going to engage? Here we go. Doc is in two. We got a flare 5v5, but red team is running away. All the disengage has been used. No Gust. Diablo's going the long way. If there's a wall, he could be in trouble. There's a nerd and jump. He stands. There's the Oh, no. There's the wall. The wandering cage. Isolating Diablo. He's all by himself. Tarana can't get close enough to heal. But it's Diablo. He's, he's pretty tanky, but 5v4. No. That was a nice wall to keep him from running away. And the keg to isolate Diablo. 
This could be game. They're they're posturing it. They're clearing to get the siege camp in. Oh, Daka! Does he have a barrel? He does not. Oh, but he'll be back full health in 40 seconds. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. Oh, Tyrande! Oh, oh no. And there's no gust. Well, no, there is a gust, but you can't gust if you're going to die. If you're going to gust, you need to gust now. There it is. This to disengage. The elbow's back. Oh, there's a stun on Falstead. Is it going to be enough? 25, 20, 10, 4%, 2%, and GG. GG. Yeah, I don't think the red team got enough value with their globals. I didn't see it until the very end where Doc and Falstead came in for a team fight. But then they ran away pretty quick after that because they were low. Alright, let's look at that. Sylvanas with 30k. 540. Wow. Nice. Boston with only 26k. So, a lot of damage by the blue team. A lot of healing. 33. Well, healing was pretty even. But Jen had 36k self healing. Oh my gosh. That equaled Toronto's healing. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, that is game one. Um, let me create a lobby. I need to create a lobby. Uh, we are going to go to, uh, let's say, Terror of Doom. Let me bend it up. Okay, so this is the NGS free agent um, tournament or combine. And the nice thing about this is the casters get to pick the map. Okay, let me, uh, excuse me while I fix this. Teams. Okay, let's see. Team, oop, I move here you move here you move here you move here strike killer move here and we're missing one who are we missing Who are we missing? We have Zerg, we have... We're missing one person from Team 5. Oh, wait, no, we're missing someone on Team 6. You go to the other team. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this time I picked Tower of Doom because this is a comeback map. So even if you're behind, you have a chance to win it. Um, so this will give a chance for some good team fighting and some good ganks on the top lane. So hopefully it will showcase some pe people's skills. I also picked Tower of Doom because if you've been watching along the um, streams, um, these two maps, Sky Temple and Towers of Doom, has not been played. So if you're a viewer, um, you won't get bored with the same map all the time. And if you're a player, you won't get bored on the same map every time. 
because some of these players have played um, more than one match. So I want them to be able to flex their hero pools on different maps. So those were my reasonings between um, picking these two maps. All right, let's get a going. Okay, um, this time around, the red team um, has the first pick, first ban, because you alternate it in, in this first, first game, the blue team had it, second game, the red team had it. And let's see, last time they banned, oh, <laughs> respect ban right there, no more panda bear, no more drunken keg for you. <laughs> Okay, I like it. I always like respect bands because that shows off that you played well. It's always nice for that acknowledgement. So let's see, right wing band. They are keeping with with the same ones they have on the first game. So I think and Blaze. Okay, they're um, banning some off laners here. I think they banned Joanna and Stukov in the first game. And Joanna and Brightwing is, is banned, so Stukov is available if they want it. They're thinking about it, though. Usually when Stukov is available, it's first pick, but no! Leoric. Okay, so uh, red team banned two offlaners and first picked their offlaner. Interesting, interesting. Okay, there's still a lot of good offlaners left though. So we will see. Wallstad and who else? Rhaegar. Okay, so no one wants Stukov. The golf can be hard to play because you have to stand still to do that puddle, silence puddle. But if you get people in that silence puddle, it's so annoying. All right, so red team, who do they want? Anduin, okay. So we got the man boy himself, Anduin, ready for the light bomb, ready for his pulls. And we got Hanzo. And there's, there's a lot of um, walls in Towers of Doom. So I get, I'm expecting a lot of damage out of Hanzo bouncing his arrows around. All right, so bands, blue team, probably banned a uh, tank, maybe? Last time they banned um, a Nubarak. Oh, Stitches instead. Oh, yeah. Stitches is really good in this map. There are so many walls to hide behind that you can pull someone into a very bad place. So, Stitches is commonly banned on here, too. Let's see. So, um, blue team needs a tank, offlaner, and another DPS. Who is the red team? Who do they not want to see? Probably another offlaner? Oh, Diablo. Okay. I thought they might continue with their offlane bans, but no. Nope. They're more afraid of the Lord of Terror. All right, so blue team um, probably going to pick their offlane last because they don't really know rush. There's a junk rat, and oh, there's your offlaner, Daka. Okay, but both teams still w waiting on their tanks. They're just waiting to see 
who's gonna tank for them. We'll see first for the red team. Let's see. Uh, Newbreak still up. Um, Murden still up. Um, May still up. Kind of like a Newbreak. Varian. Ooh, Taunt Varian. And Li Ming to finish it off. So we have Daddy and Son on the same team. All right. So what is um, with ETC? I assume it's going to be uh, a Mosh. We're going to be seeing a Dancy Cow. I want to see Dancing Cow. All right. Blue team has a lot of um, crowd control, which slows and um, pushbacks. We'll see how they can control this. I kind of, I kind of like the blue team's draft because it's junk rat. <laughs> junk rat is just so annoying. You can poke from far away and still can false that. And as long as Rhaegar can keep ETC alive, I think they'll be okay. ETC is kind of squishy, though. So, we will see. Okay, game two of Free Agent Combine. On the red team, we have Rhaegar, played by the Lime Bus, ETC, played by Dead On, Beta Male, playing Dahaka. Boomer, APM on Falstad, Zerg, Pern on Junkrat. And on the red team, we have Rift on Hanzo, Striker Killer on Varian, No More Heroes on Li Ming, Bloody Drapes on Leoric, and the only Neville on Anduin. All right, here we go. We got oh, Shield um, Talent for Rhaegar. Interesting. Now Totem Build, Prog Rock, Tissue Jan. Next round, Timers, Lion Small, Ethel Walker, Consumed Vitality, Power Shields, Hanzo Redemption, and Falstad is still thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. He's still thinking. He doesn't want. He says, I don't need a talent. Probably not going to go to Quest Build then if he's not going to. Um, oh! Yeah! ETC is so squishy. That's going to be the problem. Can Rhaegar keep the cow alive? And Rhaegar, I mean, Bostad. Bostad is trolling. He doesn't want... He can, I can beat you with no... Oh! Yeah! Nice! Even without the taunt, um, they sk still killed the cow. All right, here we go. All right, so he is um, doing a quest. He's got zero on it because it took him forever to pick. With that kill, red team's got the... Um, early lead and they're going for the early camp blue team is just now starting the camp Rhaegar is pretty good at getting camps because he just puts the shield on himself and he is doing the shield cell is the blue team okay blue team's ready just in case they invade they got the drunk rod trap here and the etc yep there it goes very in it's gonna be kind of hard for red team to um, get anywhere with junk right there. They just have to wait for ETC to overextend. And then they burst them down with the taunt and the Li Ming. Alright. Level 4 is going to be had by the red team. That's when um, Daddy Varian becomes a big boy. Here we go. Taunt. Look for a taunt. Looks like blue team's doing a 1-1-3. Clearhawk's going to have to be on the ball at the double push. Here we go, Varian! There's the taunt! There's the strike! And there's the Lee Mei! Beautiful combo! Oh, beautiful! That's a dead birdie! Nice! Very nice! Red team is rotating very well. They, they recognized the 131 and they said, That's a dead bird. I see a dead bird. Blue team did not call out that red team was missing. Alright, so that's going to be easy objective on the bottom for red team. 
And is Blue Team going to try to be greedy and get both of them? Nope. Oh, Dark and Lyric go! Can Lyric escape? Does he have a spooky walk? Does he have a spooky walk? Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, <laughs> Lyric's going back in! There's a ton! Does he have a walk? There's a spooky walk! He's going. He is okay. Oh, here, come, here he comes. Dark could be in trouble. But Falstaff flies in. There's the advantage of the global. But here comes the rest of the team. All right, Learc's finally getting the right side. Can Vossa get in time? Can he get in time? Nice double Adrian. Nice. Oh, here comes ETC. Oh yeah. Everyone on the red team was low, but there he goes. The tide. Here comes Dorian. He's coming in. Oh, they almost get Rhaegar. Almost. If the red team wasn't so low, I think they could have gone in. Oh. Nice! Nice! Peel by ETC! Nice! Okay. Red team is got to clear. Blue team is invading. I like it. I like it. They see the two people red on top, but... Red team's go! Oh, there's a taunt, but no follow-up. And nice invade. Successful invade. Very was kind of close there. He came the long way. And the blue team stayed on the camp. I think they could have killed Varian there if they focus fired on him. Alright, night. Nice zoning for ETC. Nice, nice boop. Here we go, it's going to 5v5. Fighting for a camp, is it going to be worth it? Here we go. They got the red team. A nice pull. And then pulls out his daddy. Safety. Good boy, good boy. All right. Red team's got a level lead, but blue team's almost got eight. Red team wants to clear these pumpkins out first before they go for objective. They're looking for a kill. It's 4v3 on the bottom. Baron's looking to see if he can get a flank. They got 11 seconds before the objective. Nope. Blue team is going to play it safe. Going back out. Oh, tried for Junkrat, but he was able to boop him away. Learc just needs to stall until his team gets here. While well, Sad's getting the left side. Alright, that evens it up on the power shot. Oh! Ha ha! No! Deleted! Okay, Leox is going for the channel. Nope, he's not going to get it. He's got to use the spooky walk. Zaka wants Anderin. Oh, he misses. Anderin survives. Okay, blue team is fighting back. They get both objectives. Nice. Yeah, blue team's got good poke. Between Junkrat and Falstad. Oh, I mean, Red Team's got good poke, too, with Li Ming and Hanzo. Alright, that evens, almost evens up the... Oh, there's the Tarn on ETC! There's the Root! Oh, not enough! Uh... That was a, almost a good combo there. There's the Tarn! Oh, but he's okay. There's the Rip Tire. Not enough damage. Learc's up top, so it's 5v4. And blue team is going to steal another camp. Oh, no, red team's going to come in. 5v4. There's the top, leaving. Hanzo, there's the light bulb. Can they get... No! Oh! I think a Falstad's gust saved them. Because they had the taunt. Oh, but... No! Nice pull! There's the intern! Can he get anyone to Learc by himself? I think... Oh, Hanzo by himself. Can he get a kill, though? Can he get a counter kill? He's all by himself. Does he have a jump? Can he jump anywhere? They're all going for him. Five, five. <laughs> He's creating space. He's just creating space. Does he have a jump? Oh, look at this. Can he start to the tongue? Oh, he just goes in. I'm going to kill myself. You're not going to get the kill. 
the Nexus Force is going to get the kill. But it's 5v4 for the, for the objective. Free objective for the blue team. Oh, but red team says no, not free, not free, not free. They're off different targets. Where's the taunt? There's the taunt. Where's Li Ming? Oh, they missed. Oh, Foster. Uh oh, still the right bomb. He gets one, gets ETC, but no follow up. Oh, the rocket sneaks in the objective. Oh, Foster was able to. Oh, where's the taunt? Oh, no. There's the boop. There's the root. There's the arrow. Get, where's the taunt? There's the taunt and door and tomb. They're not going anywhere. Oh. Blue team got the objective, but red team gets the kill. What can red team get with it? They're going to get a camp. Learg is going back to double soak. Doc is already up there. All right, can they get anything other than just this wall? And no, they didn't get a wall. They got a tower, which is good, I guess. What are they doing? They're they're just waiting around, poking, poking, poking. ETC, no! ETC, where's the top? Where's the bolt? Where's the roof? Nice! Light bomb! Oh, he snatched away! Oh, but he poops! Oh, I thought very was gonna come after him. Oh! Almost! Not enough damage. How can he not have enough damage with Li Meng? Where did Li Meng go? Illusionist, Clarity. Still not enough. I thought he was gonna get that kill. ETC was all by himself. All right, 13s by the red team. Blue team needs to soak to get 13s. 13 seconds to get it. Dark is ready down here. Falstad is in the middle. Are they going to just trade? Take the and the All right, Rhaegar's channeling bottom. Baron's trying to channel the top. <laughs> Joke red is so freaking annoying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rhaegar is still having trouble with this one. Okay, here we go. Blue team's got the bottom. Red team. Oh, there's the time! Can they get him? The thing too! But it's the Haka. He's okay! ETC with the peel! Oh! The tomb didn't get anyone! The tongue misses! Oh, cooldowns are pressed! There's the light bomb! Daka dodges it with the bow! Beautiful! Oh, there's nothing left! Where's the time? Can they get BTC? Oh, Ancestral saves the cow! The cow lives! Doc is in the back line. Oh, does he have a bow? But no, he has a tongue bow. He has a tongue. But Leon has got the spooky walk. He's not going anywhere. He's okay. Oh, the marsh misses. Cow is dancing by himself. Oh, they have anything left. Doc says, no, I'm going back. I'm going IFZ. Stall until I get back. All right. Doc is almost back. Oh, there he goes. He's, he's in. He's in to everybody. Where's the taunt? ATC with the peel. Oh, the, oh, no. That Junkrat. Oh, Junkrat's getting with his boobs. Almost killed Barry in there. But blue team got the um, objective. They got both objectives, in fact. Red team's getting the kills, but blue team's with the long distance. Oh, there's a ton ADC, but no one's there. Oh, the DPS was too far out. And there was a nice taunt, but the route by Anduin was too far out, and Li Ming was too far out. Here comes Varian. Here comes Varian. He's looking. Nice boot by ETC. Nice. Here we go. He's looking for... That is the... Oh, unstoppable. Oh, but the arrow. The arrow. And the light bomb. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Rhaegar saves the cow again. Doggy loves the cow. Oh. That Rhaegar with the uh, cleanse and the ancestral. Rhaegar is doing some work. Give that dog a bone.
All right. All right, to invade, but red team got the camp. Half a level lead by red team, but they are losing on the objectives. All right. Doc is not going to give up. They're not going to trade the top. I love it. I love it. 4v4 in the bottom. ETC is creating space. Oh! Oh, Baron's looking for the false dead. Oh, I don't know who to watch. Watch the one one or the four and four. I don't know. Oh, I need two cameras. Here we go. It is black bomb and the top and the hell. Oh, they all hit at the same time. So, and Rhaegar just cleansed uh, um, ETC. Okay, so Fosta got the top. And he, he flew down. And Anduin got the middle. Oh, can they get the bird? Oh, dead bird, dead bird. Okay, so they have one more. Oh, they want more. They want more. Oh, and Doc gets Fosta. I mean, Liark, can they get there in time? Can they get there? Can they get there? What to do? Yes, they got him. Oh, oh, can he get? Do you have a burrow? Do you have a burrow? Do you have a burrow? You have your essence, but do you have a burrow? He's doing. Oh, ancestral. He gets out with ancestral and the burrow. He gets out. He zed out. Top notch play there by Dhaka. But can the blocking? Oh, that was a nice. Oh, but he pays for it. A light pop. Oh, and he stuns him! He saves himself! Yeah! Oh, I was gonna say, Anduin took the... the cannonball from Junkrat to allow them to... um, capture objective. But then Doc goes, okay, I'm gonna tongue you. But he was able to get the light bomb on himself and saves himself. The healers are doing work in this game. Rhaegar and Anduin. I love it. Never see um, healers getting any respect, but they're earning their due. Okay, Varian is split off. Oh, nice pull! Nice pull by Anduin. There's the Todd. Can they get him? Oh, the Gust saves him. Oh, Raygun. No, leave me. The doggy's dead. The doggy's dead. Do we have a taunt? There's the boop by Junkrat. To zone them out, but they have no healer. They should push. They should push. Where's the taunt? Where's the taunt? Where DPS is still too far behind. ETC is zoning him out. Nice job. Doc is there though. He's looking for a flank. All right. Rager's going to be back up in time for the objective. Amazingly, there is no forts have been taken. Sixteen minutes in. Uh, we got kind of close in the bottom. All right, Rager's back up in seven, five seconds. Baron's just trying to be annoying. He's just trying to... Trying to say, I'm here. You don't know where the rest of my team is. They're really split, but... All right, I think the blue team is going to try to... Just... Wait for Rager. All right, Rager's here. Can they get it? All right, red team got it. All right, ties it up, 16-16. I love this map, because it always goes to the end. There's always a chance to come back. Half a level lead by the red team. They can get level 21st. What's red team doing? I love this one-on-one -on -one battle between Leoric and Dihaka. I'd love to watch it some more, but this four and four in the bottom is really good too. They both have long range damage, so it's hard to get to these towers. And it's hard for the tanks to get anything. But when Varian is able to get anything, he's looking behind, he's trying to flank. But he was spotted. ETC is going to try to zone him out. Well, so that's coming in. It's gonna be f oh, the arc finally got. Oh, it was a two on one. Come on, respect the one on one. Respect the one on one. That was a good battle, the arc and the haka. 
All right. But that's a good kill on the red side. 44 seconds before. Oh, a oh, light bomb. Oh, then Sister again. Nice. Oh, my gosh. They had three people there versus two, but Rhaegar saves them away. All right, Rhaegar, you gotta be careful. You can't save your toe. Save the toe. What's the thing for you? Oh, oh. The birdies turned to save the dog. The gust. Nice. There, oh, nice. Junkrat is so annoying. ETZ tries to go in, but it's got ruined by Anduin. Nice. Nice job zoning everyone out. Oh, Mer oh. ETZ trying to zone them out, trying to split them. Oh, nice turn! Oh, oh, Anduin. Anduin, these healers. I oh, love these healers. Oh, nice jobs. Gotta be careful, Varian. Light bomb! Oh, unstoppable, nice! Oh, look for the boss! I'm looking, there's a taunt! Oh, delete it, finally! Lee Man comes in, we got a reset! Can we get a bird? Can we get the bird? Any reset? Oh, not enough reset! Oh, Lee Man got the jug right at the top! And the uh, gust to disengage. Oh, I thought they were gonna get him down here, but instead Lee Mink went up there. Got the kill. But their objective's not up. So they, all they can do is get camps. The explosive power of the red team. If Li Ming is nearby when that taunt happens, just say goodnight. Alright, that's the first part of the game, 20 minutes in. No, 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 you can't do it, the Rhaegar. He got no gun stealer. Oh, God, no. He got it off. He got it off. He got it off. How did they not kill him? Oh, my gosh. How did he not kill him? Oh, you had Lee Ming there. How did you not kill him? But they're looking in and they're looking. There. Here we go. Shh. We're hunting. We're hunting animals. We're hunting bird! We're hunting bird! We're hunting bird! No, oh, he goes off to Jugrat instead! But the arrow hits two! Light bomb! Gets Rhaegar! The noise gets two! But it's too late! Too late! Oh! He was able to peel for himself! Oh, they got one though! And Liark is getting the camp. The camp will get. Oh, the camp wins! The camp wins if they get all three in. Because the red team was able to get the get an objective there, and they're not walking it in. They are instead getting... Oh, boss wins too! Oh, you're right! Boss wins! Boss wins! Boss and camp! Oh, this is checkmate! Oh, it's too late. GG. GG. Oh my gosh. GG. GG. Oh my gosh. Such a good game. Rhaegar with 77k healing. And with 65k healing. But 12 kills, I mean... This... This 12 kills would have been more if it wasn't Rhaegar. Oh! There we go, okay. I'm going to give MVP to Rhaegar, even though he was on the losing team. Because this would have been easily 15 plus. He had so many good cleanses, had so many good ancestrals. Um, and it was just like, it, could, it would have been a landslide if, if, if they didn't have it. And Anderman would have been a close second MVP. Um, so I'm going to give MVPs to both healers there. Anduin's with the pulls. Uh, they did so well. There's no respect for healers. It's always to the DPS. But the healers I saw in this game. So if any teams are out there looking for healers, uh, we got a good Rhaegar here and a good Anduin here. So GG's, everyone. GG's.
That was a good game. I like that. And actually, so that was um, one game each. The blue team won the macro game in Scott Temple, and the red team won the team fight game in Temple of Dooms. So, um, it's a good job showcasing for each team. A little bit of strength for everybody. And I believe I am the last game left because we started late. I believe everyone else is done. Um, I guess I can quickly check to see if anyone is still up and running and I can try rating you over. Uh, no, that one's done. I think they're all done. Okay, well, thank you for watching the NGS um, Combine. What is that logo? You are right. I am off the ball here. Here we go. Let me, before I sign off, let me get this right. There we go. We have the NGS logos up here. What are you looking? Don't look on the bottom. Look at the top. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, GG's, everyone. Well played uh, for both teams. And um, thank you for watching the NGS Free Agent Combine. I hope people got to flex their hero pools. And I hope the... Um, viewers were able to watch some exciting games. Um, I was the fourth block on um, this division, I think, is gold and below, gold, silver, and bronze. Um, so, um, thank you, everyone, and um, good night. Until next time.